and welcome to this mental pole vault training video. My name is Mitch, Mitch Norris, and I'm here to coach you on a journey over the highest crossbar you can possibly imagine. You will soar and free fall into the soft mat and visualize the perfect pole vaulter, you, in your mind, and transfer the perfect vault into your subconscious mind. As you well know, the body positions in the pole vault are very detailed, but they occur in milliseconds. So we want to instill solid technical training into your automatic mindset, or subconscious, or unconscious thoughts. Here, we will expand the few seconds of your vault into minutes, reviewing every frame in intricate detail. With deep visualization, you will slow the vault down and see clearly the perfect vault, your perfect vault, and your perfect vault will overlap the greatest vault you've ever seen. Imagine facing a screen like a television or movie theater in front of you. In your hand is a remote. You can press the play button now and watch yourself on the screen in a vault. Scroll through the videos and click on your best vault. Focus on your best vault. Visualize the positions that were really effective. Focus on each position you did very well. Single out moves you executed flawlessly. Identify the positions with the positive outcomes. Now capture the moment in slow motion and build a rich, compelling image in your mind. Pause for a moment and repeat your very best vault in your mind. One more time, do it slower. Pause. and repeat. Now, slow it down further and project every detailed move onto the screen. Smile, relax. This was a powerful experience. The videographer pressed record as you raised the tip of the pole into the air. Visualize from the beginning and notice the relaxed, tall nature of your upper body as you rocked your right foot backwards, then rebounded, leaning forward into gentle acceleration. Remember clear, confident thoughts as your elastic body bounded forward. Imagine sprinting on the balls of your feet with high knee recovery, effortless acceleration, your increase in speed is consistent from vault to vault. This will be the best vault of your entire life as each foot strikes the runway on the same mark time and again. Feel the rhythmic pattern in your core muscles with increasingly faster stride cadence as you approach the takeoff. Much the same as bird wings in flight, you stabilize your trunk through upward and downward bouncing arms. You transitioned to a more erect posture as you moved from acceleration to sprinting. Your track spikes clawed the ground as you bounded with high knees. You ran upon the balls of your feet and contacted the ground under your center of mass. Maximum velocity is achieved through proper sprinting mechanics. Your track spikes pulled the runway with rapid and minimal contact. You were as light-footed as a gymnast on floor exercise as you flew down the runway. As you approached maximum speed, you began to gradually lower the vault pole, which aided your acceleration. The steady pole drop pulled you forward 
as you let down the length of rolled fiberglass in a slow, controlled fashion. Your left hand moved little as it steered in front of the sternum and acted as a fulcrum. Your right hand rotated forward and upward close to your right ear into an upright position before the pole made contact with the box. Several strides before takeoff, you achieved maximum controllable velocity and maintained it through the jump, and you avoided deceleration at all costs. The single most crucial mechanical part of the vault is the pole plant. Your pole plant timing was perfect as you transferred momentum from the runway to the pole. This excellent plant created as large an angle as possible between the pole and the runway without sacrificing speed. During the plant, just before the penultimate step, both hands moved forward and upward. Then the right hand curled toward the right ear, then it pressed overhead. Before the pole hit the back of the box, you finished the plant in a very tall position with right arm fully vertically extended overhead. Your top hand, head, shoulders and hips were in a vertical line and your takeoff leg was fully extended as your left hand aided the transfer of energy by pressing upward. Your chest and shoulders were square at takeoff. Picture a jumping takeoff. Your left spike lifted off the ground as you jumped while driving the right knee. For a brief portion of a second, your body was firm as you primed for flight. You cleared the ground before the tip of the pole hit the back of the box. Prior to contact, your body was tall and extended. You drove the pole up and continuously added energy to the pole whilst rising high into the air. You had a free takeoff. Your left spike rose from the ground before pole tip contact. Your left toe was in the air before the pole touched the back of the box and you were tall and extended like hanging from a high bar. You actively drove your right knee forward and upward. Your takeoff leg remained extended to prevent an early upswing. When the pole first contacted the box, your shoulders and hips moved forward. During your vault, in that portion of a second, you added tension to your body, causing you to enter the perfect reverse C position. You moved upward and forward as the vaulting pole bent. Like a gymnast, swinging giants on a high bar, the stretch reflex in your shoulders and hips slung you to inversion. It wasn't until your top hand, hips, and feet were in a straight line pointed straight at the box did you break at the hips. Your swing was effortless with a sweeping tail leg motion and your right arm remained straight as it swept toward your left hip. It was good that you kept the pole close to your body which gave you better leverage. With the weightlifting cleaning action with your arms beside the diagonal alignment of your hand grips, you turned about the pole very rapidly. Then, like the archer's bow at launch, this action is fast and occurs with imminent unbending of the pole. You rock back. You achieved past vertical alignment with the pole way before pole unbending. An instant after swinging past vertical, there was a swift, seamless flow as you unbound and turn. Visualize the bow and arrow and the bowman's hand on the string. Visualize you, the arrow, and the archer releasing the arrow. Like an arrow, 
your linear body shot toward the clouds. The energy left in the pole unweighted your body as it threw you upward. You used your core muscles and torso to stiffen from the bent position with your feet soaring skyward. You soared upside down while facing the crossbar. Without a thought, at the perfect moment you released your left hand from its grip on the chalky tape. With the pole nearly straight and vertical, you push downward toward the box with your right hand. Also, for safety, as your hips flew upward for full extension and as you began to pipe, you nudged your calloused right grip back toward where you started the acceleration. You achieved record high crossbar clearance in pike position as your hips rounded the bar and you added extra inches by rotating around the crossbar and hollowing your chest. You finished off your most successful vault by withdrawing your upper body very rapidly. The very moment you began your weightless descent, you think, yes, I've done it. The crowd cheered as you let out all your emotion and yelled, yes, out loud, while smiling and waving. Cherish every vault again, 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 again. Again.